hello everyone welcome back so in this video we are going to understand the first question that we have in the contest 461 right so let's try to understand first and we'll go through the how to implement it okay the question is saying that you are given an integer array that is called nums and having length n and an array is a trionic if they exist index like uh, like this right means the p should be greater than or equal to zero and q should be greater than p should less than or equal to n minus one okay so it is saying from zero to p is strictly increasing from p to q is strictly increasing uh, decreasing and uh, q to n minus one is strictly increasing okay so this is called trionic okay and you have to return true if the nums nums that we have given is trionic otherwise return false so if you go through this example right you can see that very first we have given this one three five right and then we have given is uh started decreasing and then is means one three is increasing three four, uh, five four is decreasing and two six is increasing right what we need to do what is try tri uh trionic means the very first we need to split this array into three parts let's see how so let's think that we have given this array and we can represent this array into one three five four two six okay so if will this element will look like how like this if you'll call this index zero one two three four and five so how many in how many total elements we have six that is why index start from zero so if you we'll segregate this means from here to here from here to here let's suppose uh can we say the very first part is this part one we call it p1 let's suppose and from here to here is p2 and from here to here is p3 okay so very first part it was saying that for this one it should be what it should be increasing so this is your p it was saying q was there and uh, whatever the index was there that way that you can see okay so if p and q right both should be within the bounds right but i'm not talking about this is the part right this is a part from we have segregated we have split this array into three parts right so we can get two two element at each time so from one to three it is increasing order right from five to four it is a decreasing order right and then two to six it is increasing order so this should be the requirement so that is why it is giving true because this is we have to check and we have to return means we need to split the array the given array should be split it into three parts right using the two indexes right the indices would be what p and q okay in such a way that we can divide this array into three parts okay all all these parts should be uh in the increasing form as you can see here increasing decreasing increasing right so this array must be follow the pattern the first part should be increasing second part should be decreasing and third part should be increasing again I hope you understand right so how we are going to implement it let's understand how so what we need to do very first we know that we have the given array nums we have given all the values will count how many values we have means number of elements we have we can get here and we know that two uh, p and q indices we have to find right why because we have to find what a uh, trionic right trionic array must have three segments right the very first segment should be increasing then decreasing and the third should be increasing we will create the functions further to check the increasing or decreasing so let's suppose p start at one and q start at p plus one correct so p start at one then q start over where q plus p plus one right next element right so the index p start from one going to n minus two let's suppose q start because q is going with plus one so we'll say plus one and it should be less than or equal to n minus one so three things we have to check the very first part is zero to uh, zero to p and then p to q and then q to n minus one and this should be increasing and the middle one should be decreasing so we have to check this function we have to create this helper function so we have to create this helper function increasing and decreasing one right to in for increasing we just need we will start from index zero you uh, we can say from the start and end right not the zero we can say and we'll keep checking the adjacent value if it is greater than or equal to means 
it is false if the current element is greater than the next element okay it is false otherwise true and similarly the opposite is decreasing so if all this is coming true will return is true otherwise will return false so when it returns true means it's a trionic array okay i hope you understand let's see uh, the uh, another questions and uh, give a thumbs up like this video if you like this right and i'll see you in the next one